Hi, welcome to this video in which we will have a look at different ways of configuring interfaces in ACI. So, um, as you probably know, if you have seen ACI, there are different ways in which you can configure physical interfaces. There are access policies that you can control, or you define the speed of interfaces, whether CDP is active, uh, activated or not, whether LDP is enabled or not, and you can use different combinations of switch profiles and interface selectors. Here, for example, I have a couple of interfaces defined on my FX101, a couple of interfaces defined on my FX201, on my switch uh, 201. Um, there are some people that um, don't like to work natively with the policies and prefer the wizards. There's, uh, there are a couple of ways of, of um, coming here. There is a wizard here, and uh, uh, there are different ways of, configure, of configuring interfaces from the wizard. So you can click on the switch and then add interfaces. There's a quick mode and advanced mode. You can decide whether creating a new policy or reusing uh, no, a policy which is already existing. Um, let's cancel this. And uh, there's a third way that I would like to show you guys there's a way to come to this wizard starting from a physical view of the, of the switch. So if you go to the topology, we can uh, pop up a switch and then we can right click on a port and we will we can click on configure uh, port channel, configure virtual port channel, configure interface and then we will see a real a really simple um, wizard to configure what we want to do. Now um, some customers I have talked to uh, don't like that this too much because it's a lot of clicking and a lot of um, possi uh, possibility for errors. And um, further uh, than that, uh, these customers they have their own processes to install servers. So what we decided to do is a spreadsheet like a cable pen where all this information is documented. So as you can see here, there are mainly two, reg two regions of this spreadsheet where we are configuring stuff. So in the first part that we are seeing here, it's a physical configuration of the servers, where the servers are attached, the speed and so on. The second part, which is highlighted right now, is the logical connectivity of the servers to which applications they belong. For example, you can see here uh, the first three servers have two different VLANs for two different purposes. So first we define um, the um, attributes of the server connection and then the purpose. So um, it's as easy as that to write in this uh, spreadsheet. The spreadsheet has a bit of intelligence to derive some fields. For example, rack one is uh, switches 201, 202. And after deploying, we can go to the access policies and we can see that they have been deployed. We have here plenty of servers that have been configured. Um, um, here it's not, you cannot really see the name of the servers, there's no description being shown here. Um, we can have a look at um, uh, the policies and the policies it will be uh, recognizable. Uh, there are some names and uh, some of them are deployed as, as port channels, some of, the, uh, some of them are deployed as active standby servers, some of them with 10 gig, some of them with 1 gig, exactly as we defined in our killing plan. Um, we can see as well there are some policies that have been deployed. Um, you don't um, need to know what these policies mean, but suffice to say that the configuration has been done following the instructions here in the spreadsheet. The same goes for the uh, logical connectivity. So if we go to the tenants and, and application networking profiles and uh, endpoint groups, we can see that there has been uh, there, there are some static bindings here, which identify the servers. So the specific VLAN, those servers are attached. Some of them active standby, some of them VPC, and the same goes for the rest of the endpoint groups. So here we can see the first year of our application here is empty. Right. So that's almost uh, all about it because the only thing that we have left is just to remove the config we just made. Click on remove, 
um, the scripts will do the opposite process and will remove all the conflict. No static pendency anymore here, here, here. And if we go back to the policies and the uh, wizard, we will see that there is no, um, there's nothing left there. No port here, as you can see, there's only the, maybe you remember the ports I had initially, it's exactly that, no more, no less. And uh, if we go to the policies, everything has been cleared up. Let's have a look at the ports and the policies. It should be empty, apart from the ones I had before. And um, the uh, interface selectors are there as well, empty, only with what I had before. Thank you for watching.